Hello and welcome to the UP Open University Diploma in Land Use Planning Research Proposal Presentation. And before we begin, let me introduce myself to you as your presenter. I'm Jessica Julia Carino, an architect, project designer, 3D visualization artist, and a student taking up Diploma in Land Use Planning at the UP Open University. My research topic is about the land use planning and urban development in Clark. On this research, we will discuss about the overview of the research topic including the research question, objectives of the research, conceptual framework, methodology, and the expected output. Now let's begin with the overview of the research topic. The Philippine government had found Clark to be one of the answers to the traffic issues and overpopulation of Metro Manila. Addressing the overcrowded Metro Manila by building up cities or metropolitan areas in the rural areas, thus unfolding more opportunities. It's one of the Build, Build, Build projects initiated by President Rodrigo Duterte, where there are 24 projects under the Department of Public Works and Highways, 32 projects under the Department of Transportation, and 6 projects under the Basis Conversion Development Authority to date. And that includes Clark. In 2018, the Basis Conversion Development Authority and the Clark Development Corporation grouped and rebranded Clark into four major development districts, namely the New Clark City, Clark Freeport Zone, the Clark International Airport, and the Clark Global City. 40% of Clark is planned for built environment. 60% is for the open spaces, and the air quality index rating of 10 indicates air quality is considered satisfactory and poses minimal or no risk to public health. Now, the research question is, what makes the land use planning and urban development of Clark the best economic and strategic solution to the increasing congestion in Metro Manila? Now, let's proceed to the objectives of the research. The first is to further seek information that will answer the research question. Second is to find out the rate of interest of the stakeholders. Third is to present and share the gathered data that offers solution to the problem in Metro Manila. Fourth is to determine the general implications of the study. And lastly, to promote and increase awareness about the advantages of Clark over Metro Manila. And now we proceed to the conceptual framework. The research paradigm using the Input Process Output or IPO model will be integrated on this research. The independent variable will be the land use planning and urban development in Clark, while the dependent variable is the east congestion in Metro Manila. What's in between is the hypothesis or what seems to be the answer to the problem. Now let's proceed to the methodology of this research. For the research design, we will be using the combination of quantitative and qualitative method known as the mixed method. For this research, surveys and interviews are conducted. For the quantitative method, we will be having a descriptive analysis, while on the qualitative method, we will be analyzing the content based on the responses of the participants. Overall, there will be an SWOT analysis which stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Here's an example of a three-part survey questionnaire consists of profiling, Likert scale, and open-ended questions. Since physical distribution of the questionnaire is basically impossible due to the pandemic situation, and to ensure the safety of each participant, the surveys and interviews will be conducted online using the platform of their choice. Finally, the expected output. First, Content analysis or detailed evaluation of the responses of the participants. A descriptive analysis measuring the rate of interest of the stakeholders. Third is the presentation of the consolidated data that offers solution to the Metro Manila congestion. An SWOT analysis of the general implication derived from all the responses. And finally, an increased awareness of the respondents about the advantages of Clark over Metro Manila. Now before we end, let's make a quick recap. We have discussed about the overview of the topic, the objectives, conceptual framework, research methodologies, and lastly, the expected output. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. This has been Jessica Julia Carino. Stay safe and God bless.